Are home buyers and consumer sentiment increasing for the housing market? Jeremy Knight and Knight here, your favorite Austin realtor. Look, the Austin data just dropped, so we're gonna go through the Austin data, but we're also gonna look through some of these recent articles showing that buyers and consumer confidence is coming back. What do you think though? Do you think buyer and consumer confidence in the housing market is coming back or not? Is it still too expensive? A lot of people in the Austin area are specifically saying that it is. Now, if we look at the Fannie Mae's numbers, the HSPI, which is their purchaser index, shows that it increased 1.8% in September, reaching 73.9%, so virtually 74%, the highest it's been in over two years. This reflects growing consumer optimism about the housing market, specifically regarding mortgage rates. Now, what did we notice that happened over the last few weeks? We noticed that the Fed dropped the Fed funds rate a little bit. And so what happened is we were actually seeing rates drop. They were in the 6.6 range and they were dropping down to 6.2% anticipating this rate drop. Well, what happened is we were telling buyers, hey, it's time to jump in the market. Rates are down to 6.1%. Since the rate dropped though, rates have gone back up to 6.64%. So they are back up. And so this is a concern if you are one of those people that's like waiting for the perfect stars to align, prices coming down and rates to come down, because guess what? The Austin overall MSA numbers dropped to the lowest in four years. Yes, and we're gonna go through that in a second. And we look at this Redfin data, Pendings for the U.S. rose 2% year over year for a four-week average, and 32 of the 50 U.S. population saw an increase in pending sales, which means that buyers, when they saw this numbers come down, finally jumped in. And I think it took some buyers a little too late, because if you locked in two weeks ago, you locked in at a 6.2 rate, now you're at a 6.6 rate. So do we start to see buyer demand wane? And also, do you think that the election is impacting the overall housing market and the market in general? You tell me in the comment section. I'm always curious because I've always said that the you know election years can impact the housing market, but that's just my feelings. So we go back to Fannie Mae. Fannie Mae says a record 42% of consumers now believe mortgage rates will decline over the next 12 months which is a significant increase from the 24% in June. This shift in sentiment is driving overall housing sentiment higher. So again, buyers are jumping back into the pool and we've been saying this and I've been saying this on this channel. Once you see rates drop, you're gonna see buyers jump back in and the pending sales for the Austin numbers show that, drastically show that. So we're gonna have to get into the Austin numbers here in a second. But expectations for home prices, despite rate optimism, many consumers expect home prices to continue to rise over the next 12 months. This means that any improvement in affordability from lower rates could offset by higher home prices. So again, if we're gonna see prices drop and the rates, you're probably gonna see home prices go up. And that you know, kind of makes me chuckle about the Kamala Harris in the Biden admin saying that they're going to give a $25,000 credit because all that's really going to do is drive prices up for first time home buyers. You tell me in the comment section what you think about that. I haven't really talked about any, you know, one way or the other on this channel, but I do think that giving more consumers $25,000 may end up causing prices to increase. You tell me if you think I'm wrong in the comment section below. But what are renters saying? Because here's the thing, for first time home buyers getting back into either the Austin market or any market, renters are the core of this. So let's talk about renter sentiment because renters are the ones that are gonna be primarily our first time home buyers, right? Sentiment among renters who are potential first time home buyers is improving. The share of renters believing it is a good time to buy a home has increased from 13% to 20% and more renters expect mortgage rates to fall from up from 16% to 30%. So these rates dropping are going to have more of these renters jumping back in the market. Now, again, they went from 6.2, they're back up to 6.6. So we gotta see what happens in November, December, do rates drop down a little bit more? Last year at the same time, we saw prices increase for the December numbers in the Austin area, and that was primarily to do with rates dropping. And we actually just saw this last month. Okay, existing home sales are on track for the lowest annual total since 1995, signaling the highest prices are still a major deterrent for home buyers. 
You tell me, are home prices still the biggest problem? I can tell you in the Austin area, home prices have not dropped. And we're gonna go into the Austin numbers here momentarily, but what do you think? Are the Austin home prices still too expensive? Because again, affordability, Fannie Mae is saying, while mortgage rates concerns are easing, the primary issue for consumers is now considered rise in home prices over the last four years, which continues to be a major sticking point for potential buyers. There's that saying, marry the home, date the rate, right? I'm not a big fan of that, yet I do see that, especially in the Austin area, we are at a bottoming in prices, and if rates do drop back down, you're gonna see what we just saw for the last month. So let's actually look at the Austin numbers. So year over year, actually prices for the MSA came down to $425,000. That is down 6.6%. And so if you're including the MSA, five counties, you are seeing a drop. And so what does that mean? That means that the neighborhoods outside of Austin, in fact, if you want me to do a video on which prices have dropped the most around the Austin area and which would be a good deal, drop a comment below because we may make that video next. You tell me. But closed sales for the Austin area are down 2.6. Now I say the Austin area, I mean the MSA. This puts inventory at 5.9 months of inventory. That is a lot of inventory. Now they always say a bounce market is six months inventory. Wait till I show you the actual Austin numbers. But here's what's crazy. The pending percent over the last month was up 20%. So this just shows you that rates really do drive buyers in this market. So you have prices coming down. If rates come down, more buyers are gonna be in the market. What do you think about that? But for the Austin area, we saw more pendings last month because of that. But guess what the closed to list price ratio is? It's 92.8%. So think about that. That's almost 8% below. It's about 6, 7.5% below where you, they listed. So if a home listed about $500,000, the median is $425,000, right? So if a, if a house listed around four forty, dollars it's just showing you that prices are going to be about... 7% lower. So do you think that's good or bad? But the days on market did go up. Oh yeah, and today's video is actually sponsored by the Knight Group, myself. So if you are looking to buy, sell in the Austin area, we actually are expanding our team. So reach out to us, our information's below. I put all the time, money, and energy into this channel to give you all this for free. So if you do have anybody looking for to buy, sell, or invest in the Austin area, reach out to us, we'd love to help. And I got a crazy note to tell you about the Austin MSA in general and here in a second about pendings. So just Austin itself is actually up month over, well actually it's down month over month, but up year over year. In fact, it's higher than the 2022 prices at $580,000. So remember back in the day when we were doing Real Amigos all the time, and by the way, if you want me to do Real Amigos again, drop a comment below, I can bring Real Amigos back. But we talked about with Kevin on here that the core of Austin wouldn't see prices drop as much and we are seeing 1.7% year over year up. So prices in Austin itself are up. Closed prices or closed volume was down almost 12%. So we did see less close and that was probably because of higher rates, but pending sales are up 10% right now. So pendings are way up, but closed, like close the list price ratio was 92%. This puts us at 6.8 months of inventory in the Austin area. That's a lot of inventory for you as a buyer. So if you're getting confident, like we're showing that Fannie Mae is saying the confidence is coming back, then yes, absolutely. But let's look at the overall MSA. We have up 20% in pending sales. We have Bastrop up 39% in pending sales. We have Coldwell County up 5.9% in pending sales. We have the city of Austin up 9.5, right around 10%. We have Hayes County, 28% up. Hayes County with a median price of $369,000. Why do you think people are going down that direction? Because Tesla, all that good stuff. Travis County as a whole is up 13.6%. And Williamson County, just our North neighbors, are up 24% in pending sales. So in one month, when rates dropped, we saw all of these people back in the pool. So yes, consumer sentiment is up, but you tell me in the comment section, is this good news for the Austin area? Is this good news for you where you're buying? And if you do want me to do a video on all the areas you should be investing in because rates are down, you tell me that and we'll drop it in the comment section right now. Oh yeah, and make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.